So we are cutting the caramel in square here 15 millimeters by 15 millimeters. And just after we'll dip them in dextrose to separate them and to be sure they will be pan together nicely because the dextrose is really hydroscopic. It caps a lot of water, so that's the best way. If you don't have dextrose, you can replace it by cocoa powder. But dextrose is tasteless and won't change your recipe much. So coat them well. And of course, after we will sift them to remove the excess. So we, as you can see, that's just a really, really light uh, dextrose layer. And you do that well with everything and you let to sit. And just before, we are ready for panning the caramel. Now, time to pan the raspberry caramel, which are coated with dextrose. So I switch on the air on the machine and I will just place them inside. Then we start the rotation, medium rotation, and I will use a spray system to make my life much, much, much easier. And then we start So be little by little, that's really important because if you add a lot, you will make doubles. So the doubles are made at the beginning. So at the beginning, we'll go like I will be maybe six, seven seconds on, 20 seconds off. If you don't have a spray, you do with the ladle, little by little, really go slowly at the beginning. Now the products are ready with the first layer of chocolate. As you can see, it's cool, that's uh, evenly coated. Now I will clean it. And when we do two products, when we do a product with double layer, two chocolate, just think as if we are doing two products. It will take a lot of time because I have to have it clean, nice and smooth before I add the second layer. So as always, I will start from here and from the end. So the end, the rear of the panel and the front, two at the same time. So that the product, the cold product, will pick up the chocolate. It's important to have cold air. If you don't do with cold air, it won't work. Keep your product running. and just melt stripes per stripes. Don't melt everywhere in the panel. Just stripes per stripes. And when I'm good at the rear, I go in the front. Especially in the front now, my panel is not full, so I will have to remove with the scraper the front of chocolate because no products are coming here. And I go back in the rear. And then I will just remove the top, the front. In my case, I will put in the 
secrecy stem for next time. Now my planner is totally clean. My products are nice and raw. I will wait for them to be cold enough before I add the second layer. What is really important is when you do a two layer product, you do two products actually. So it takes double the time. So you see we don't have any doubles. They are all nice and clean. Because if here it's not nice, I will not have a second layer nice. It has to be nice here to be nice after. Like that. Just, I will leave it maybe 10 more minutes to be sure it's really cool. So I don't change the rotation. I don't change the cold. I just wait to be cold enough to add my second layer of chocolate. Um, my first layer done. I will add raspberry chocolate, the inspiration raspberry from Valrona. And I will add it little by little. I could do with a spray, but I have such a little quantity that I will do by hand. 
I add on the product, not much on the panel this time, and little by little. You have to have enough at the beginning for your product to spin, and that's it. So double layer coating. It's really important to have the first layer really cold, otherwise I will blend together and you won't have a nice red, you will have something mixed. And I leave, of course, as always, the first layer to set before I add the other one. But the same principle as a spray. So you see by the noise, as it rotates, I can add. The noise really tells you everything. And again, a little bit. As soon as my noise gets loud, I can add more. Little by little, you want to be evenly, nicely coated. You see, really loud, I add chocolate less loud, the more it sets, the more louder it gets, the louder it gets, and then, yes, now it rotates, louder noise, I can add more. In the bowl, like that. And now, same process, I will melt. Pay attention to not change the color. So now, I will reduce, I was at 70% with the pole to smooth them out, the pole because it's inspiration. Otherwise, with the dark chocolate, you can remove the pole. Allowed, finish. Now we set them aside in order to uh, leave them set before I glaze. As easy as you put. Next day, our products are set. I have scaled, I have five kilos, 
it's, it's important to scale to know how many products you will put to glaze. So you will pour everything inside. As you can hear, the products are set, it's really loud. I will start the rotation and the cold air. Important at the beginning to leave them to spin maybe uh, two or three minutes in order to have the humidity to get removed by the rotation. We set up a medium rotation. The air I will put at about four degrees Celsius. I will use for master coat the POTT 154A, this one, and I've scaled 3 grams per kilo. Here I have 5 kilo, so I will use 15 grams. So I will remove the air. Rather than switching off, I prefer to do this way so that there is no no interruption in the air, and so that my air is getting colder. You will apply the product, the glaze, on the caramel, on the chocolate, and not on the panel. And with my finger, with my finger and my hand, I remove like that. Here the products are spinning, I can put back the air, which is about a little minute. And then I need to leave the product drying for about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, the first layer of glaze is dry, it's about 10-15 minutes. As you can see, it starts to shine a little bit. Now I will add the second layer, which is 2 grams per kilo, so in my case, 10 grams. I switch off the air and I add the product. As always, it's good to clean like that. When the rotation starts again, I will switch back here. Just count a little minute to be sure the product is well displayed everywhere.
After another 10 minutes, the product is dry, you see it's nice and shiny. We could add another one gram, but I feel it's okay for now. We don't need to add more, especially today it's raining. So uh, if I want to keep my glaze long, I don't really need to add a lot. I prefer to stay with two charges than having a third one and uh, having the risk of this glaze to melt with the weather, with the wet weather. So we stay like that. Now I will put the shellac, so the shellac is not compulsory, my products are nice and well shiny, so I will apply 2 grams per kilo and I will glaze over it. So I switch off the air and I will add in one time over the product and mix it well. It's really important to mix it well to ensure it's well displayed everywhere over the bowl. So don't be afraid to mix it well with your finger. Wear gloves because the shellac is really difficult to remove from your hands after. And now I will switch on the air to dry the product after one little minute. And it's really important because now the product will be fragile, so the shellac can be broken. So we will have to lower the rotation to have a nice effect and to not have damaged product. And now you just be sure that the rotation is sufficient to have a nice rotation so that the product can dry and to have a nice shiny effect because don't forget that the shellac is there to protect. It won't make the shine, it's not compulsory. The first glaze makes the shine. The shellac is there to seal everything. So just don't, be, because my panel is not that full right now, with my hand, I'm mixing everything to be sure that I have a nice rotation of the product. I'm about at 40, 40, 35, 40 percent of rotation, but the rotation depends on how full is your panel. My products are now ready. Shiny, protected, so I will remove them. Now, so there is a little bit of red on my panel, which is not a big deal if I do dark chocolate later. As you can see, my products are finished. Uh, what I need, I need to let them uh, dry because uh, there is alcohol in the shellac, needs to evaporate. So I will put in the container, in the packaging, or where I decide to sell tomorrow. So hope you enjoy it and uh, see you soon. Thank you.